Welcome back and welcome to another video game spotlight which I found this one while on holiday in Canada. I was browsing through the discords of many different servers and this one popped up and I am interested in it because it is a tower defense game. It is called Monster Girl Assault. It is by Navico on Patreon. Link to the Patreon and the itch will be down in the description down below. You can download it for free on itch. You can play the public free version or you can support for one pound a month on Patreon. That is well worth doing. Like I said, this is a tower defense game. So think plants versus zombies. And just to show you guys, I'm going to play a little bit of the game and talk about it while I play. Of course, I'm going to have to put some blurs out on the screen. I'm going to put some black lines out because as you damage the characters in this game, they lose clothes and I can't show you that. So this is the basic battlefield. You'll be fighting against the monsters and you'll be building up your defenses. The first unit you're always going to place is one of these guys. He is someone who generates coins for you. Once you do that, you then have to wait until you have more coins so you can place down more units. Gold also sometimes spawns out of the top, just like that. Or these guys will sh gly uh, glow, glow, gold, and then do that. I'm going to go for a double gold opening. That's, that's my way. I always open up the gold generation double as we have a monster on the field already and I then hope to have a uh, defensive unit can actually attack in time that they get here so the app yeah, I can be able to place a bow and arrow guy down he is going to start damaging that unit now we have done that we're going to place down a third unit and we're going to keep collecting the money as it falls out of the sky this is why I'm going to have to have a blocker because she has just lost her blouse we now have another unit in the same line, so we have the money to buy another arrow, but I'm just going to hold off and wait until I see which uh, lane is used next, and that is when I'm going to place my next bow guys. And there we go, this is on the top lane, so I'm going to place him just there, and keep collecting the money because it's very important to have as much money as you can get. I'm going to stop at free money generators. I feel like this is a comfortable amount to have. You might want to go for a fourth, but this is the strategy that I found to be the best. I need to explain that this game is still very new. It is only at version 0.1 on the public version. And on this lane, I'm going to place this guy and I'm going to play this guy. This guy is a defender. He's going to block this person. This person's got a shield, so they're going to take more hits to take down. But yeah, this game is still very new. I think there's about seven levels, including a bonus level. And there are scenes. So once this character is beaten by the monster, the monster will then mount the character in either a sexual position, either oral or uh, just full intercourse. So that's something to look forward to. And if a monster gets through your defenses entirely, uh, they will then attack you, the king, and turn you into a sex slave where you will also see a scene. I didn't have one of these available because the time was going off, so instead I just went for another bow and arrow guy. I'm going to try and double stack my bow and arrow guys because they are very strong and the main way of doing damage to the monster girls you get more options later on but there's only a few options so far just gonna keep collecting the gold keep collecting uh, keep adding to my defenses and I can hear there's another one coming through there as well so I'm already doing good damage in that lane I've corrected put in a defender in the correct lane there and then I'm just going to put a shield guy across the front row here just to slow them down a little bit it gives your bow and arrow guys more time to do damage and that is going to be more effective for me as well place him there while I can there's another one coming down at that middle lane and then I want to make sure that I'm saved up for a bomb a bomb is very important in the final wave it does a lot of damage and it can clear out a huge amount of monsters that make it a lot easier for you so always have a bomb available if you can when you're starting the final wave there we go we have the final wave coming in we have a bomb and i'm going to wait a little moment and then place it just there i missed out on a gold there this bomb is going to do huge amounts so now all we have to do is concentrate on this bottom line i'm going to put a third one down like so and then if i can get this guy up in time i will place him just to protect that this now should be an easy victory on this mission. I think this is level four, I believe. 
yeah, one of four, Act 1, level four. There's seven uh, levels in Act 1, and then you get a scene at the end of it when you complete it. So yeah, that is everything for this game, Monster Girls Assault. Go check it out on Patreon. Go have a look at it on itch.io. It's well worth the download. And from me, hit like, hit subscribe. Peace out.